Hello, good evening, Mark Benson here. Um, it's Thursday, 21st of April, and um, unfortunately some bad news from the wrestling community. Um, as you may or may not know, uh, Joni Laura, also known as China, who um, performed in the WWF, has uh, sadly passed away at the very young age of 45. Uh, very tragic news. Um, it's, we all knew that she had her issues, you know, and she's, she's tried to get help as much as she could throughout the, throughout the years since leaving the WWF, but I don't think that the, um, the circumstances surrounding her leaving the WWF never really, um, left her, and she don't think she ever really came to terms with it. Um... Obviously, myself, Mark Benson, and the Wrestling League guys obviously uh, want to pass on our condolences and our thoughts uh, to Joni's family, uh, to her friends, and also her fans, which um, obviously she had very many of. Um, people, a lot of people tend to sort of forget how important she was. Years before the Divas Revolution, there was China. China took no names. She kicked ass. She kicked men's ass. That was the thing. She was the first ever intercontinental champion or the first woman to become intercontinental champion and probably the only woman to ever become intercontinental champion. She also was the first woman to appear uh, uh, during a Royal Rumble match. Um, people tend to forget how important she was in this whole you know, when we get to now, when we look at Charlotte, when we look at Becky Lynch, when we look at Sasha Banks, you have to go back to China. You can't, with respect, go back to Christy Hemi or Kelly Kelly. That's not a diva's revolution. With respect to those girls, that's not a diva's revolution. I don't even like the term diva. It's a women's revolution. But unfortunately, your Christy Hemis, your Kelly Kellys, etc., that's, they didn't, with respect to them, they never paved the way for women's wrestling. China did. China was able to make you believe that even the biggest guy that stepped foot into that ring, she would be able to give them a f***ing good kicking. And she did on many occasions. Against Jericho, Hardcore Holly, uh, Guerrero, you know. The matches that she had with men, you know, rivaled any man versus man match quite easily. And um, it's a shame that people don't seem to remember what she should be remembered for, which is creating a pathway for women in wrestling to show that it's not all about tits and ass, basically. You know, it can be about the athleticism, the strength, you know, the wherewithal. Um, and I, I just, it, it just really gets on my tits when people seem to just say, oh, well, she, she was a drug abuser and she did porn and she did reality TV, this, that and the other. I mean, this girl was deeply troubled. You know, she was handed everything. And then due to certain things, certain circumstances they were just taken directly away from her and left to left to get stale you know so the one thing i will remember her for is not for what happened after she left the wwf it's what she did during and i think that's how everyone should remember her um i feel that with her troubled nature i'm glad she's finally Granted, not via the best circumstances, but she has finally found peace. And now she can, in some way, shape or form, move on. But take a moment, if you can, if you have the WWE Network, if you have YouTube. <clears throat> Check out some of her matches. I mean, she was also an original member of DX. Again, something that people don't tend to sort of go on about. They, as I say, they talk about her rather mucky past 
after she had finished up with the uh, with World Wrestling Federation. So, Joni, you will be missed. You entertained me an awful lot. You entertained an awful lot of people that I know personally. Um, and that's what we'll remember you for. And um, you will, as I say, you will be missed. Um, as I say, it's the young age of 45. No one should be passing away at that age. Um, but again, just to just to repeat myself, as much as obviously it's sad to um, see a troubled soul leave this this planet, I'm I'm finally glad she's found peace. You know, and I think that I think that's what everyone should feel. So, thanks for watching. Um, I'm not going to plug anything because I don't think it's appropriate. If you want to leave any comments, any memories, anything like that that you have of China, please let's do so. You know, let's get um, let's get talking. Obviously, let's um, show that you know we're appreciative for what she 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 gave to us in terms of uh, putting her body on the line, um, entertaining us. You know, it's it's something that we should all be discussing and not what happened afterwards. So. Um, much love to everyone. Benson out.